74 seconds, a home burn. A house fire is one of the most devastating tragedies anyone can experience. And the aftermath is almost unimaginable. Fire, heat, smoke, and water damage. Families uprooted, forced to rebuild, and replace belongings. That is, if they can be replaced. Think about all of the personal belongings. Your family photos. Antiques. Other treasures that have been passed down for generations. Jewelry, china. Your child's favorite toy. And of course, fire is most devastating when it takes a life. Every year, fires kill more people in the U.S. than all natural disasters combined. More than 4,000 people die in fires. Most die in the very place they feel safest, their own home. 911, please fire that a call. I have fire! I have a fire in my house! What's on fire? I don't know! Your what is on fire? Oh, oh. Okay. Fire. We're sending the fire department out as we speak. Okay, where, where is it burning? Hello? Yeah, right. Through my entire home, I have a large home. To the floor through my kitchen, my utility room, the small bathroom, everything just black. Just that quickly, you, you are homeless. Are homeless. It's been pretty rough on us. And I'm lucky that we've had some friends we've been staying with and um, you kind of see, kind of feel like we're homeless and, and we're not really homeless but you know you never think that you're going to experience that in your whole life. So it's very, very sad. You should have these in your home, working smoke alarms. They're an essential early warning device. But these, home fire sprinklers, take fire protection a step further. In less time than it would take most fire departments to arrive on the scene, home fire sprinklers can contain and usually put out a fire. In fact, installing home fire sprinklers and smoke alarms reduces the chances of dying in a home fire by more than 80%. Fire sprinklers have protected lives and property in public buildings for more than a hundred years. Now, people want that same protection in their own homes. When my father knew I was building the house, he um, asked for my blueprints and said, I think we're going to put a sprinkler system in. And my dad is not a cushy person by nature. However, on this particular topic, he was, and he insisted. And honestly, it's going to give me some peace of mind. Um, even though the house is brand new and people say, you know, you're not going to have a fire in a new house, I... I don't necessarily believe that, um, particularly now that I have three young children. I certainly have uh, peace of mind knowing, with respect to fire, knowing that uh, my grandchildren are protected, my daughter's protected, everybody in the house is protected. After having grown up in a house that was devastated by fire, I wanted to do anything and everything I could to prevent my children having to go through something like that. And uh, the sprinkler system is there for the life of the house and for our lives. Let's take a look at a typical residential fire sprinkler system. Now, like the plumbing in a house, a fire sprinkler system is a network of piping that runs in the ceiling and behind the walls. Sprinklers will be installed on ceilings or walls. Only one sprinkler will be needed for most rooms. Two or three will protect a larger room. Each sprinkler is individually activated at a temperature somewhere between 135 and 165 degrees. The sprinkler releases the water, extinguishing the fire. There's a common misconception that the entire sprinkler system can be activated at one time. That's not true. Only the sprinkler closest to the fire will turn on, spraying water directly on the fire. In a spreading fire, a second sprinkler may activate. But in fact, 90% of fires are extinguished by just one sprinkler. And there's another misconception that a sprinkler can accidentally discharge causing water damage. In fact, the odds of an accidental discharge are 1 in 16 million. You've got a better chance of being hit by lightning. Let's compare two typical fire scenarios. First, a home without sprinklers. The smoke activates the smoke alarm. Your family follows the escape plan you've prepared. 
you exit your home and call 911. In three to four minutes, ceiling temperature reaches 1,000 degrees and visibility is reduced to zero. Dangerous gases from the smoke spread throughout the house. In less than five minutes, the entire room is engulfed and the fire starts to spread into the rest of the home. Depending on where you live, within five to ten minutes after calling 911, the fire department arrives. Windows are broken, and the fire department cuts holes in the roof to fight the fire. Using their hoses, they spray 250 gallons of water per minute from each hose on the fire. After the fire has been extinguished, smoke is black and everything. Most of your personal belongings are destroyed. There's water damage everywhere. Broken windows and holes in the roof need to be boarded up. And you've got to find a new place to live while your home is being rebuilt. That is, if it can be rebuilt. It was awful watching your house burn, you know, watching the, the windows literally just fall out onto the ground, onto the bushes. Um, and just waiting for the fire department to come and holding, holding the baby in my arms and he, he wondering what he's thinking the whole time. Now, how would this scenario play out with smoke alarms and a home fire sprinkler system? After the fire starts, the smoke activates the smoke alarms. Your family follows the escape plan you've prepared and exits your home to call 911. Here's where a sprinkler system changes the scenario. In less than two minutes, the heat from the fire sets off one of the sprinklers. The sprinkler controls the fire and probably puts it out. By the time the fire department arrives, the fire is off and out, and the damage is confined to the area where the fire started. This piece of paper is damp, but it's not burnt. You may not be able to use the room for a couple of days while the damage is being repaired, but your family and the rest of your home were protected. Having the sprinklers has given me a real sense of security, because now we know that if there's a fire in the house, and as in this fire, the sprinklers put it out. Communities across the country are seeing impressive results from installing fire sprinklers in all new homes. Ten years after an ordinance was passed requiring fire sprinklers in new homes in Scottsdale, Arizona, fire loss hit a ten-year low. There were no deaths in the homes with sprinkler systems. Tragically, ten people died in fires where there were no sprinklers. And the homes with sprinkler systems had far less fire and water damage. The benefits of home fire sprinklers are well worth the investment. New technology has made them easier to install and more affordable. In fact, nationally, on average, they add between 1 and 1.5% to the total building cost in new construction. And fire sprinklers are inconspicuous. They can be mounted flush with the ceilings or walls, or in some cases, concealed completely. The main benefit is security for my family, for our belongings. Um, my husband does travel. And it gives us, my kids and I, an extra sense of security to know that it's here, that we'll be able to get out of the home, the home will be safe and secure. My kids are teenagers, they're home by themselves, and it's just a sense of uh, security for our home, our family, our belongings. When we were building our home, I learned that for about the same cost of upgrading the quality of my carpet, I could put a sprinkler system in my home. And the way I looked at it was, for the cost of this carpeting, I could have something that could save my children's life in a fire. To me, that was a very reasonable choice to make. We started putting residential sprinklers in back in 1984, and looking back from, from that point to then, it's changed tremendously. Now, uh, with the availability of using plastic piping, um, the development of a wider range of aesthetically pleasing residential sprinklers, um, now companies are devising techniques that make it more labor-saving. Uh, companies are even developing uh, residential pump systems that are, that are economical. And it, it is becoming a very affordable thing for homeowners. The greatest benefit of a residential sprinkler system is simply light safety. It gives you that margin of safety, that, that element to be able to exit the home should you have a fire. It is the single most important thing that you can put in your home today. 
Let's hope you will never have to experience a fire like this in your home. The trauma, it, it's much less severe now, but to some extent I'm sure I'll be traumatized for life. When you consider all the benefits of a home fire sprinkler system, there's really no reason not to install one. To protect your family, your belongings, your home. To protect what you value most.